hello everyone once again to this new lecture we are talking about uh, measurement of resistance and particularly this lecture we are talking only specific about uh, low resistance measurement as we know in day to day life we have to be measure the one of the term that is called resistance that uh, which means uh, it uh, oppose the flow of uh, current it can you have a different application scenarios what are the application scenario uh, as we have a uh, we have insulators uh, where uh, that they insulate particularly two phase of a line or they act as a rheostat in the circuit for providing the as a insertion material or in case of ammeter for uh, for providing the <coughs> adding some rain extension method for this now in this uh, particular lecture we first we have to be classified the type of resistance we have three type of resistance first is low resistance medium resistance and high resistance uh, the resistance which having the value less than 1 ohm data low resistance measurement and uh, low resistance and this measurement technique so be low resistance measurement techniques medium resistance that have value between 1 ohm to uh, 100 kilo ohm uh, that is a, one of the major resistance that we use in day to day life what we seen up from our naked eyes and third is is uh, high resistance measurement that have a 100 kilo ohm and above values and that particular resistance have been uh, as a can be measured by maker or loss charge method that will be dedicatedly uh, study in this particular lecture series so start with the low resistance measurement devices so three type of measurement techniques are to be there for measurement of such type of low resistance having one ohm resistance so one of the important prospect uh, regarding this type of low resistance measurement that the if you use uh, this measurement if you if you want to measure this type of low resistances by some of the method like wheatstone bridge or volt ammeter uh, other methods its lead resistance are is a one of the important perspective that they will causing some of the error because this lead uh, what we connecting for measurement ha or have the more resistance than actual what you measure that is one ohm or smaller than one ohm that that to be carrying one of the uh, greatest losses that can be measured so we can uh, use this special method like kelvin double vision volt ammeter method so first started with volt ammeter method is a basic philosophy behind this type of resistance that uh, that resistance can be measured by uh, measuring the voltage across a load and current flowing through it so uh, but uh, as we previously also uh, suggest that that uh, uh, if a voltage if voltmeter is connected across the source or across the load may causes some of the error like if we provide the voltmeter across a load okay then the particularly a meter a uh, voltmeter carrying some current and causes some error in the circuit if voltmeter is in parallel with source then a meter having some resistance and causes some uh, voltage drop across it so this both the causes some of the error and it in case of a resistance measurement we have to be analyze this particular error as a relative error so start with for first particular method case one where we wanted our voltmeter across the source here we assume that the uh, we use measure measuring resistance are high okay in this particular case we assume that load resistance is higher than ra let the, the voltage across the uh, so uh, when what we applied is uh, v and voltage across ammeter uh, is uh, va and across the resistance is vr if we have the resistance of voltmeter to be rv and um, across uh, of a internal resistance of ammeter should be ra then we have a suggested formula like uh, total of k by k will we suggested v is equal to uh, voltage across uh, resistance plus voltage across uh, your ammeter and this all voltage is should be measured by your voltmeter okay now the voltage you drop across the is particular resistance vr it should be calculated a uh, current flowing through this is capital i finally its own resistance it is ir then total voltage should be uh, v equal to ir plus v of a okay where the total voltage drop across va it can be also be said that it act as a current flowing is i and the resistance internal resistance is ra so total voltage can be calculated as v is equal to if capital i can be carried as a common then r plus ra r plus ra okay 
now one of the fundamental formula should be there so we have to found out the, now we have to measure the r1 resistance so this resistance okay this resistance uh measured resistance can be found out by the formula key if we have to find out volt v upon i actually the normally normally we have to be uh, measure the voltage that is we have to want a total voltage applied and current through it so the actual voltage the true value that we wanted to be measured by uh that should be voltage v upon current i but in actual practice what we measure by this particular formula what we measure v divided by i is equal to capital r that is our resistance that we have to measure and additional resistance that is ammeter resistance so it should be r m2 so what should be causing the error we having the causing error to the ammeter resistance so uh, that we have a case that for a r capital r what that is our true resistance and rm uh, it is our true resistance and rm is equal to 1 upon r a upon r1 the value of uh, resistance is higher than true value it suggested that the measured value what we measured the value should be high as additional resistance should be added additional uh, ammeter resistance should be added in the particular calculation so it will causing the it will causes what it is our true value and it is our r plus r is our measured value so as additional r a is added we say that measured value should always be greater than true value here we suggest that if uh, this r a ammeter resistance is zero then true value and measured value should be equal so by using the relative error where we can say relatively r a causing the much of the error in the system for reducing the e r r a should be smaller as possible with respect to r a okay for uh, for making the relative error to be smaller r a should be very very greater than r of t in that particular case your overall resistance should be small <coughs> next uh, thing that to be if we apply this type of circuitry where voltmeter is applied across uh, your load resistance then it will be, uh, as we say the actual resistance should be what we wanted actually it should be v upon i actually what we wanted true value should be v upon i but uh, due to this we applied against the total current should be i is equal to iv plus ra i is equal to iv plus r i r a i r i where iv should be total uh, voltage should be v upon the resistance is small, small rv where it should be v upon r so uh, if we uh, uh, where we common uh, if we put v to be common that should be then rv r rv plus r so what we get the r measured value v upon i in this particular case to be uh it sh it should be rv plus r rv r that should be our answer and with when we applied it should be 1 upon r plus 1 upon rv so in this particular circuit in this particular way we will uh, easily say that the additional resistance of meter voltage it should be there in the circuit so when we applied uh, relative uh, relative values it will suggested that rv is inversely proportional to your relative error okay so if we if we increase the value of rv with respect to capital r then the relative error should be small so in that case we will say that rv should be very very greater than capital r okay 
or we say load resistance should be smaller in that particular case so the overall uh, error should be reduced in much so uh, in this circuit what we taken if we taken that if two instrument have accuracy of 0.5 accuracy uh, are read nearly full scale instrument error result in 0 to 1 if if we read uh, the full scale the percentage error will be twice or greater or low reading may account a considerably high it is very difficult in this particular case to have a better than one percent of accuracy this method is very helpful in laboratory work as accuracy is not much required in laboratory measurement devices but if you wanted some particular method of resistance where you wanted a high or uh, higher accuracy in the both the cases then load resistance should be uh, one of the formula that will give that uh, total resistance are if we wanted a common resistance that gave the uh, equal uh, relative error in the both the cases then r should be root of r a upon r b it will give the accurate value in the both the cases okay that's it and second case is one of the method that is maybe also read in our previous uh, 12th class that is a potential method uh, potentiometer method in this bad method we also wanted to know the unknown resistance with respect to standard <coughs> standard resistor <coughs> uh, we have voltage uh, voltage up source e er is some uh, variable source and we have a ammeter uh, having some series with the source resistance rs and rx is the so uh, resistance that we have to be finding out so what we do in this resistance uh, what we do that if we uh, firstly we open the circuit if the voltage uh, drop across the both standard resistance rx measured by potentiometer resistance we vary the potential uh, uh, when rx is fixed and r is to be fixed then we bury the value of your resistance r if we bury the resistance r such that the voltage uh, the ammeter may uh, measure the current should be zero it is also called null deflection method where rx upon rs uh, particularly ratio is equal to v upon rx upon rs it is one of the method where we use the null deflection method for measurement of rx value so in this way we have we are finding out the uh, value of resistance uh, thank you so much for this particular lecture it is one of the common ways a uh, major we have to find out the ammeter voltmeter method for a small resistance measurement thank you so much for this particular lecture